Hello, I'm Eric Van Pelt, reporting for the News Feed. This is your feed update for Monday, April 24th. French, French presidential candidate Emmanuel Macron has marked the 102nd anniversary of the Armenian Genocide by Ottoman Turks in a brief ceremony in Paris. Macron laid a wreath and conducted a minute of silence at a monument in memory of the victims. While the total number of deaths is still debated, historians estimate that up to 1.5 million Armenians were killed around the time of World War I in what is widely viewed by scholars as the first genocide of the 20th century. Turkey has denied that the deaths const, uh, constituted genocide, but France officially recognized it as such in 2001. Macron, a centrist with pro-business, pro-European views, will face far-right leader Marine Le Pen in the May 7 runoff of the presidential election. In his first 100 days, President Donald Trump has rattled Washington, startled world leaders with his unpredictability, and won their praise for a surprise attack on Syria. He's endured the steady drip of investigations and seemingly endless public personnel drama. Trump campaigned on a promise of instant disruption, but indirectly acknowledged that change doesn't come quickly to Washington. He showed signs that he feels the weight of the office, discussing the heart required to do the job. Although he retains his signature bravado and a salesman's confidence in his upward trajectory, he displays an awareness that many of his own expectations for his first 100 days in office have not been met. Trump suggested in an interview that the 100-day measurement is not very meaningful. Trump will re reach this milestone on Saturday. Family and friends say their goodbyes to this afternoon to former New England Patriot Aaron Hernandez, who was found hanged in his Massachusetts prison cell last week while serving a life sentence for murder. Hernandez was arrested nine days after Odin Lloyd's death in 2013 and charged with the murder on April 15, 2015. Hernandez was found guilty of first-degree murder as well as five weapons charges, automatically being sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. However, Days before the suicide, Hernandez was acquitted to, in the murders of two men, Daniel de Abreu and Sofiro Furtado, in Boston in 2012. And that's your feed update for this Monday, April 24th. As always, stay connected with us on Twitter and Facebook for more news and information. I'm Eric Van Pelt.